Hello everyone and welcome to PA Academy. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a square and uh, polygons on a given base. So that means if you have um, just one single base, so let me call this uh, AB. And on this same base, I want to have a square. So this is just a print sketch. I also want to have a pentagon. And I also want to have hexagon. You know, and like that, like that. So how do I go about this? Just a freehand sketch. So how do we really construct it to make sure that it is look it's looking good with all the sides equal? So that's what I'm going to be covering in this video. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, PA Academy, kindly click on the subscribe button, uh, the little bell icon, and also click on the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. So with that, let's get started with this video. So I'll be using a side of 5 cm, so that is 50 mm, so that's what I want to draw. So from this point to this point, so that will be our base, so let me call it point A and then point B. So what, what I want to do now is to draw the square. So I'm trying to make sure that they are all at right angle. So I already have my square. So the next thing I want to do now is to bisect this line AB. So to do that, I've picked up my compass. So I'll measure five centimeter. So five centimeter is same as 50, 50 millimeter. So from point B, so what I'll do is from this point A, I'll have something like this. And I'll draw a small arc downward from point A. And draw an arc downward. So let me join them. Okay. So the other thing I want to do is to draw a diagonal. So from this point, I draw another diagonal this way on the square. So where the boats meet, you know, it also meets with this straight line. It also meets with this straight line. So I'll call this point four. 
Now, if you remember this, when I drew this arc like this, when I drew something like this, you know, and then I did the same thing on this point A. Now, they both intercept at this point. At this point. I hope it's clear. So that place, I'll call it point, five, um, point 6, rather. Point 6. So what I'll do is to measure the distance from point 6 to point 4. So let me see. So I, what I want to do is to get the the middle. So if I should measure from uh, the distance between point 6 and point 4, so that will be um, 1.85. So that means the, the middle will be 0 0.925. So let me mark that point. So that will be somewhere here. And this is our point, point 0.5. So what I want to do now is to measure this the distance So I'll mark it off to the top. So this is six, it will be seven, eight, and nine. Now this will represent the, the center for the one with nine side. That'll be um nonagon. So the next thing to do is, from this point, uh, point 0.5 now, so I can pick my compass and put it on this point 0.5, for the distance from this point 0.5, okay let me just draw a line, from this point 0.5, straight here, this is 5a. I'll use it to draw a circle. So this is so I'll draw a circle. So what I want to do, uh, what I want to do now is from this from point five. To this point a5 a i want to draw is inside this circle is what i'm going to be having the pentagon that's for the five sides so now let me measure our uh, the base which is five centimeter so five centimeter so from this point a on the circle i've just drawn i'll mark it from point B, I will also mark it. So from this point also, we have just marked with the same five centimeter. Good. So now we can now draw our our pentagon. So I'm joining it together. So now we're ready to have our square, our pentagon. So the next thing we are still going to be drawing the hexagon. But before, just to confirm if you should measure it. If you should measure the sides of the pentagon, you see that we are having 5 cm. So this is another side, 5 cm. So it's important when you are doing all this uh, construction like this or drawings like this, so make sure that all your measurements are accurate from the beginning.
so you can see five centimeters so that's make sure when you are bisecting you know you have bisecting drawing lines make sure they are accurate so now let's do for that of the um, hexagon now if you want to do that of hexagon from this point six where we are having six so i pick my compass i will extend it to point a so point six to point a from that point i'll draw a circle So the distance from 6 to A or from 6 to B will be the radius. So now I've draw, I've draw the circle from point 6. So I don't want to draw it online, but just note. So from point 6 to point A will represent the radius for the circle I've just drawn. So if from this circle also, we are going to be getting the hexagon. So I'll use my compass to measure the 5 cm which is the base radius. So 5 cm is same as 50 mm. So I'll mark it on this circle I've just drawn. So this is the first one. So from this, this same point. So I've come to point B. So from this point, I'll also mark 5. So you might not see it. It might be faint because all these are just construction lines. So the main thing we want is the square, the pentagon, the hexagon, you know. So that's why you're not really seeing it. Seeing the construction lines. So now let me join them. So now we've just drawn the this for hexagon. So let's just confirm the sides also so you can see this is five centimeter. So we are having under five centimeter. So five centimeter. So just to confirm that was our construction is still correct, five centimeter. So if you want to do that of the seven sides, which is heptagon, the same process from point seven to point A will be the radius of the circle you are going to draw. So let me do that just one more time. So from point seven to point A, so I'm going to draw a circle. So I've drawn a circle. So now we'll measure the length of the base, which is five. Five centimeter. So from point A. So I'll mark it on the circle. So you just follow the same process and you join them.
so if you want to continue like that if you want to draw that of with eight side which is the octagon so you just follow the same the same process and then you'll be able to so just follow the same process and you'll be able to get uh it's just follow the same concept and you'll be able to get other for other sides so that is it for this video on how to draw uh, a square and polygon on a given when you are giving a base so depending on the length it's just the same the same process so if you are confused in any part just watch the video again i believe it is clear enough so if you have any question or any comments just leave it um in the comment section below if you are yet to subscribe to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and the little bell icon beside the subscribe button and i'll see you all in another video thank you